Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be looking at the most amazing artificial intelligence based design tools which are completely free of cost. So the first tool is called Font Joy. And Font Joy is a cool tool which allows you to generate random fonts. So helps you to pair different fonts. It could be a sans serif font with a serif font or a display font with a, a calligraphic font. So um, all you need to go, uh, do is go to fontjoy.com and by default, they will show you Montserrat, Laura and Hind Madurai. So you can pair fonts uh, based on this and uh, you can balance the contrast. So if you want two fonts which look very different from each other, you can increase the contrast like uh, going high contrast here on the left and say generate and uh, in a couple of seconds see how these fonts do not match each other at all and have a high contrast and you can randomize these just click on generate again and it'll generate something else so the aim of this software is to allow you to uh, generate and discover fonts uh, and also to pair them uh, based on a similar theme, but still maintains a certain contrast. And if you increase this, uh, you'll see fonts which are very similar in nature. See how similar they are? They're both these wacky comic kind of fonts. Uh, if you change this, see how similar these fonts are? They seem f from very similar font families. Now the next tool is uh, a continuation of this software and it is called Font Visualizer. And let me tell you, this is one of the most impressive, uh, visually impressive uh, font discovery tools that I've found. And uh, you can rotate these fonts here. You can zoom in like this, zoom out like this. Isn't this cool? And you can select fonts. So for example, uh, I like this font as a display font, this bungee shade. And if I click on this, it'll show me uh, fonts which are similar to it or have a high contrast to it and uh, you can select a lot of features from here there's even a dark mode versus light mode so if you have a dark background you want something for that this has something for that as well all you need to do is rotate and discover new uh, fonts all these fonts might not be free though um, but th this site is definitely worth a check out now the next tool we'll be checking out is called brand mark and this is for all you designers who want to design a quick logo or some quick illustrations for your design or website but you're not very good with logo creation or maybe you're a logo designer who just wants uh you know something different or wants some inspiration so uh, here if i type in my name puneet chavla and uh say puneet chavla on youtube right and uh i say it's on design it's uh youtube it's video and these are all the keywords that i'll give the software and if i move forward i can choose the kind of color so if i want a gray or a neutral or maybe a clean and simple color palette. I can choose that and I can move forward. And within a couple of seconds, generally 30 to 40 seconds, you will have a uh, brand identity for you. And uh, see how clean these logos are or representations are. I can change between the style from here. So if I want something playful, it'll show me something uh, a little more playful. So see how playful it has become now and you can edit these individually. You can check which fonts you want to have or which fonts this already has and you can share this as well. Um, of course, here you would have to purchase. So uh, something basic is 25, but you can go up from there. So I, I think that's the only uh, drawback is that it generates something. It's great for inspiration, but if you have to actually get one, you will definitely have to buy. But except that it's a great tool and it helps. Uh, it will help a lot of designers in their design process. Okay, the next uh, website that I'm going to show you guys is called Rene by John Gold. Uh, that's that's the, the, exactly the domain Rene dot John Gold. And uh, this site helps you uh, basically generate, uh, again, um, check out how fonts will look in a card, 
how much padding you need, what should be the borders, how, uh, how much radius should the borders have. And as you keep on changing stuff, so for example, I want to change the, uh, the heading font or the display font. I can change it from here. So right now it's uh, Helvetica. I can change it to uh, Crimson text. And as you can see, it'll show me the same thing side by side. So I can compare immediately. I can change things like uh, the padding. So from uh, two rems, I can go up to four. So I can see what it'll look like if I had more padding. So uh, for people who want to check out how their designs will look if they changed it a little bit, this is a great tool. And I've faced the same problem uh, when I have to uh, experiment with designs or it's an exploration. Uh, it generally takes a lot of time to create similar components, but this shows you similar components side by side, especially card designs. Okay, so the next tool is called auto draw. So I'll select the auto draw tool on the left and I'll create a plus sign if I want one. And it'll show me all the things which are related to plus sign. So right now it thinks it's a bed. So it'll convert it into a bed. Uh, for example, I want uh, an L, right? I'll create this L and it can show me things like stairs or a leg. And uh, this is great for designers who just want to exp uh, explore logos or uh, icons for their next project. If I want, uh, say, a basket or a bucket or a bag, I can just simply draw one and AutoDraw will discover what this is. Uh, so here it's discovered it's, it's a box. Uh, you can change it to any other style of a box. You can change it to um, whatever it might see. You can change it to a bag. That's exactly what I wanted. And the best part is once you've done with that, you can go ahead and download it from the left and it downloads as a PNG image. And this is for, great for designers who just want good illustrations or icons for the next project and they're bored with the uh, already available solution. So this is something totally different. Okay, so the next tool that we're gonna look at is deepart.io. And if you're looking to spice up your images or to spice up uh, illustrations, you can do that. Simply uh, drag and drop an image uh, into the image folder here. You can match this with any kind of other images. So for example, there is uh, this painting. And if I want this to convert into this painting, uh, into a painting style like this. I can go ahead and submit and it'll take up to 17 minutes to create this, but it will design this. So I've already done something like this for you from this image. See how this is converted into this uh, with using this as a base. And they do this with an AI tool. I've done a star as well. And this is one of the coolest tools that I've looked at. And this will really spice up your next project. And after you do this, all you need to do is just click on the image and to download it, you can uh, quickly uh, buy either buy a print or get the HD file. I suggest just uh, downloading it just like this as an image um, if you don't have the kind of money to shell out for this process. Keep subscribing to my channel, that really helps me out and also hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video every Monday and Thursday. God bless.